love Him and serve Him and obey Him. You see, God said, God said He will make a new covenant with this people. He said, I will take out that heart of stone. You see, you have a heart of stone. You have a heart that hates God. You have a heart that does not love God's Word, does not love Jesus Christ. You do not cherish God in His Word. And God says He's in the New Covenant, in Ezekiel, He said, I will take out the heart of stone, and I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will cleanse you from your uncleanness, and I will cleanse you from your idolatry, and I will cause you to walk in paths of righteousness for My name's sake. Oh, it's a wicked and adulterous generation here. A wicked and adulterous generation that has turned their back upon God. Oh, you are a liar. Just like your father, the devil. Jesus, Jesus said that you are of your father, the devil. He came to kill, steal, and destroy from the beginning. You're the hater, sir. I know. We live in a world... You see, God says, Woe to those who call good evil and evil good. Woe to those who exchange light for dark and dark for light. He calls sweet bitter and bitter sweet. Oh, the whole world can say I'm a hater. But on the day of judgment, you will find out that you were wrong. Because you trusted in your own self-righteousness. You think the Bible says that all the good people go to heaven? No, the Bible says there is none good. There is none good. No, not one. But thanks be unto God that through Jesus Christ that God has made me right with Him. God has separated my sin as far as the east is from the west. No longer am I under the wrath of God, the judgment of God, because Jesus Christ drank down the cup of judgment upon the cross. No longer is God angry with me because now He sees the righteousness of Christ. Now I live by the power of the Spirit of God. No longer do I follow after the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, the desire for the things of this world, but I love God. I keep His commandments because He causes me to love Him. He causes me to walk in paths of righteousness. God says, those whom I love, I reprove and rebuke. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. You see, if God does not discipline you, you are not children of God, but children of the devil. That's what the Bible says. If you do not receive discipline from God, you can continue walking down this road of life, doing everything that everybody else does, continue lying and justifying your lies, continue stealing from your boss and justify your thievery, continue lusting after men and women, cheating on your husband and your wife and justify yourself and say, well, everybody does it. You are in danger of the judgment. You will find yourself, when your heart stops beating, you will find yourself in the flames of hell. And you will wish you could go back to this day. You will wish you could go back and change your mind, but you never will be able to. There is no second chance after you die. There is no purgatory for somebody to pray you out of. The Bible doesn't have purgatory. The Bible says, Jesus says, appointed unto man once to die, and then to face the judgment. You see, you're all going to die once. The soul that sins will surely die. You're all going to die once, and then you're going to go to hell, and then you're going to hear the voice of Jesus Christ, and you'll be resurrected from the dead. Your spirit will come out of hell. You will get a body that will endure the wrath and anger of a holy God, that will endure the flames of fire and brimstone, the place that has been prepared for the devil and his angels who rebelled against God. But now, because you have joined the devil in his rebellion against God, you too will go where the devil is going. The hell fire is not, was not created by the devil. Lake of fire and brimstone was not created by the devil. It was created by Jesus Christ for the devil and his angels who rebelled against him. God never gave a plan of redemption for the devil and his angels. And God does not have to give you one either. But God has provided a way out. God has provided an escape for your sin. But in order to, in order to obtain that, you must humble yourself. You see, God hates proud people. Oh, in San Francisco, you have the gay pride parade. You take the, you take the rainbow that, of God's judgment when God flooded the earth. And then God says, once again, He will destroy the world. But not with, not with water, but with fire and brimstone. 
you perverted the word of God, you pervert the truth of God, and then you you all you all laugh and you all clap and you all think, oh, this is all funny. Oh yes, I know I'm weird, but look in the mirror, man. Everybody serves somebody. You're serving the devil. You're serving the living and the true God. You're serving the gods of this world, or you're serving the, the God who gives life. You see, Jesus Christ is the one who gives you life and breath. And that very breath that you use to mock God, God has given it to you. You see, God's mercy endures forever. But only for those who love Him and serve Him and obey Him. I know you guys are going to wish you had this water that I had squirted on me in the flames of hell. You're going to wish somebody could come and, and squirt water on you. Just like Jesus told the story of Lazarus and the rich man. The rich man was in the pit of hell. He said, Lazarus, he said, no, he said, Father Abraham, send Lazarus just a, just a drop of water to touch my tongue. You think the hell fire and the place of a party and a good time? Go jump in a flame of fire and see how much fun you have. You see, God is angry with the wicked every day. God is not pleased with the, the things that go on in this world. God is not pleased with your sexual morality, with your sodomy. God is not pleased with fornication. God is not pleased with your whoremongering. God is not pleased with your lying and your stealing, your pedophilia, your porno. Oh, God looks down upon the inhabitants of the earth and he says, he says, God says when he returns, Jesus said, will he find faith upon the earth when he returns? That's what he said. Oh, God said that he loves, he loves the preaching of the gospel. He loves those who love him. He loves those who serve him. But those who do not love him and those who do not serve him and those who do not obey him, his wrath and anger abides upon them. Oh, you're all going to perish, not because God did not love you, not because God did not warn you, but because in the day of salvation, in the day when God spoke to you, when God called out to you, today is the day of salvation. Today is the day you turned your back upon God. The Bible says all day long, God cries out. I run for Satan. I know that you do. Satan. I know. You're all children of the devil. It's okay. I'm a child of, of God. You're a child of the devil. And if I had a Bible here and I could tear out pages, I would throw words at you. Jesus told the woman, he, he told the religious people like you, he said, he went without sin, cast the first stone. Then he said to the woman, go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. Jesus Christ told his disciples to go into all the world and preach the gospel. And you call that throwing stones? You're calling Jesus Christ a liar. You're destroying that more judgment than that. You're an affront to him. You're saying, Jesus Christ, I do not believe you. You are a liar. Oh, how will it go for you on the day of judgment when you stand before the just judge of the universe? God, you testify the wicked. You're an abomination before God. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Really? 